Uh, Fox 35 Health Alert. Some parents have long been suspicious, and now a Food and Drug Administration panel, they are meeting to look into the link between food dyes and hyperactivity in children. Dr. Don Colbert from Divine Health in Longwood is here to talk about this this morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Food dyes seem to be in absolutely everything. If you flip the package over, there's probably a food dye in it. Absolutely. Foods you wouldn't expect, like, I mean, the peel of an orange. Here's pickles, cheeses, meats, yogurts, especially children's foods, like candies and children's cereal, drinks, fruit drinks, as well as uh, snacks and cakes and pies. They all have these artificial food colorings that are linked to hyperactivity in the renowned British journal Lancet that showed that link. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to educate the people that these can cause hyperactivity. And this petition has been filed to the FDA to warn the public, at least put warning on these products, but hopefully we can get rid of some of these artificial food colorings that are in our foods. What would you suggest to people out there? I know I started looking when uh, my son had asthma because I know it can be a trigger there too. And so I was looking at the backs of packages and I know that Cheez-Its have paprika to color them as opposed to the cheese fish who have yellow number dye. So can you start looking for options and foods? Are they out there? Uh, absolutely there are. They're natural food colorings, but these artificial ones, there's only eight. There's two reds, two blues, two yellows, a green and an orange. Mm -hmm. And then they combine these. And what's interesting, many of these are associated with allergies, asthma, you know, hyperactivity, as well as even cancer. Red dye number three is, is a known carcinogen banned in cosmetics as well as banned in drugs, but it's used as a food dye. Which is disturbing, and they're really, you said, no purpose for having these in there, aside from the fact to make our food look more real when it's not. It appeals to, the, well, the look. It, it makes it more appealing, whereas preserved is preserve the food, keep it from spoiling, but really, we don't need these artificial food dyes. They need to be, I recommend they be banned, or at least we need to highlight them and get them get out of, of the children's food, these food dyes, these artificial food colorings. This is great information. I wish we had more time to talk. Us the weather taking up so much time today. Dr. Colbert, thank you so much for coming in. Thank we'll have you again next week and we'll talk more about uh, how to stay healthy and keep sure. your family healthy. We'll stay with you throughout the day with the weather. Have a good one.